All right, I appreciate everyone joining us. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> so good morning. I am Candace Boutel, and I am joined by my Director of Outreach and Communications, Mary Matiska. Hi, everyone. And Mary is, Mary's going to be monitoring the chat today. So make sure that as we're going along here today that you um, add your comments or questions to the chat. And we will have a, a question and answer portion at the end. But um, we're going to work hard to keep this to 30 minutes. So welcome. Please drop in the chat what company you're representing. We have a lot of great partners on today. I was so excited to see the number of people that were you know, interested in tuning in on how you can really utilize our Inspire partnership, um, you know, this upcoming school year. So um, I hope you find our topics useful, that you're excited about the upcoming school year and the opportunities that we're going to be offering together. It is no secret that finding talent is extremely challenging these days, and I am so glad that you're looking for ways to continue building your long-term pipeline solution by partnering together with Inspire. So let's just talk a little bit about what we're going to cover today. Um, there's a few main questions that we're hoping to answer for you today. So um, if these were things that you've been thinking about, but I just want to go over this. Remember that this session is, is for current employees, uh, employers. <laughs> and so if you've been with Inspire for, you know, a year or less than a year, or you've been with us for you know, all of the 10 years that we've been doing this work, we welcome you and we want to continue to find ways to provide support to be successful with this long-term pipeline solution planning. So that's the first thing we're going to talk about. How does this partnership work to help you build that pipeline? And then next, what exactly can we be doing to connect you with students? And why are those career mentors so important? I'm sure um, you already know that those people within your organization that are helping us to do this important work with students. And then what other resources do we have at Inspire that can help your organization be successful? So as I mentioned, one of the goals of this partnership really is to help you develop a long-term pipeline solution. Um, you know, Inspire provides support to companies by helping them develop strategic relationships with students based on your goals. And one of the first things we do with a new company is that goal setting. Um, and it's a very important action step. So I just want to mention upfront that we would like to meet with our employers through to go through some of the things that we're going to talk about today. So goal setting, event planning, and career mentor recruitment. So if we haven't already connected with you or after today, there's, you know, you've jotted down a few notes about what you would like to, um, to oh, good, you got that one. What you would like to, you know, talk about, please reach out to us. You can even drop it in the chat. <laughs> it's waking up on my side. Um, and we'll make sure that we connect. So after working with hundreds of employers, oh, and if you guys would uh, just help us out by, maybe muting yourselves on your end and then we can and then we can open up the floor at the end and have that dialogue which I'm excited for. So after working with hundreds of employers we've really been able to summarize the goals that we hear most from our employers about why we are partnering together and one of those you know you see them listed here increasing brand recognition increasing student educator awareness of the career opportunities within your organization, developing a talent pipeline for immediate job openings. I know a lot of our partners have open roles to fill that are entry level positions. I'm looking for opportunities for your staff where they can develop leadership skills, improving employability skills among students. That's just a community need and really a need across the state that most employers are interested in helping to prepare students for the workforce and certainly supporting exploration of potential pathways after high school. We know that students don't know what they don't know. So there's always so much, there's such a wealth of information from your career mentors within your organizations that you wanna share with students so that they feel they have a broad understanding of what's available to them based on their skills and interests and where they can potentially go in a career path. So it's really important that your company reviews those goals yearly 
And then we build your action plan around the most important ones for the upcoming school year. Based on your goals, we can actually suggest targeted activities to move you in the right direction. So that is what we're gonna talk about today. Other ways that INSPIRE is helping you build your pipeline, connecting you to opportunities to connect with students of all ages. So we understand that the end goal is to connect students to careers, but what you may not know is that this process starts early on. So meeting your goals, especially those around building awareness, that brand awareness, or the, the awareness of those positions within your company requires multiple touch points that start even before the students get into high school. So we primarily work with students grades six through 12, but we can help connect employers with elementary school students and educators. We've partnered with teachers who are embedding career exploration even at those early elementary grades. So we're always looking for ways to be creative and we often will get requests from teachers at those levels to help um, provide that awareness to their students at those young ages of what it means to have a career and what careers are available to them. So if you're interested in reaching students at this age, we can also connect you with other community partners that have opportunities to connect with elementary school students. So it may not even be an INSPIRE specific program, but we work with so many other organizations throughout the community that do have programming for students at those ages. And they're often looking for those connections with employers and we can help to bridge those connections so that you have those opportunities to connect with students. INSPIRE helps you connect specifically with schools in your own community. So one of the ways that INSPIRE provides value to our schools is by assisting educators with event planning that often requires multiple professionals. So many of you have probably been involved in these activities before, but some examples would be mock interviews. And again, during COVID, we were still doing those virtually, but even this past year, several of our educators were bringing those professionals back into schools and having those students do those interviews face-to-face. -face. And I know several of our um, employers were very strategic with those mock interviews that a student finds out after the fact, hey, that was a real interview. You did great. We wanna offer you position. Um, and certainly we've had reality days and adulting days that we've helped educators kind of fill a schedule of a variety of employers that can help provide their expertise. Same thing with career fairs. So what we can do is note which school districts are of interest to you, those that are closest to your facility, those on which you wanna have the most impact and prioritize your company's involvement in those activities. So we can be very strategic when we get those requests from educators looking through the employers closest to their community and making sure that those employers are, are made aware of the opportunities to connect with students inside the school. So I would love if you would, if you've had any successes participating in those events, I mentioned those, those job offers that happened after mock interviews, but if you've had any successes after participating in some of those, those student experiences, go ahead and drop that in the chat. Um, did you have students who followed up in some other activity after meeting you, or did you perhaps make a better connection with, with educators after having that experience? So please, if you've had any of those success stories, go ahead and drop those into the chat. It's always helpful to see the successes that other people have had. We kind of have that best practice sharing. So we'd love to open you know, the chat for you to do that. And finally, your INSPIRE involvement gives your, your employees an opportunity to take leadership roles and share their knowledge with students. We've heard many success stories about how your employees have stepped up and acted as amazing mentors to students in various ways. We're gonna talk, um, we're gonna talk a bit about the crucial role that mentors uh, play in successfully connecting students to careers within your organization. However, note that mentor involvement is also a benefit to your internal structure. Mentors who are connecting with students are able to demonstrate leadership skills and they tend to have a greater sense of purpose when they really find that meaning in their work and sharing their knowledge out with students. Um, hopefully that then leads to a better retention and growth and advancement for that employee. So it really is a benefit to your internal structure as well 
You can demonstrate the pathways available to new or entry level employees because of how that, that employee that demonstrated those skills is now moving up in their own career path within your organization. And that builds your company's reputation as one who promotes from within. So now let's move on to how you can connect with students and educators. One of the main components to the success of Inspire is our request process. Students and educators are able to make individual requests or opt into events whenever and wherever it suits them. So um, this was the technology that, technology that we built to make that connecting process really streamlined and really simple for everyone involved. And the students and educators are using that exact same system when they are registering for those pre-scheduled events, whether it's a virtual career event that you might be involved in or a career experience perhaps that you have um, scheduled. So we've also developed more in-depth programming that targets specific groups of students. And those tend to lead to stronger connections between employers and students because it's much more of a deep dive. It's a more immersive experience. We're gonna talk briefly about the youth co-op program and the workforce pathway. But for those that might be unfamiliar with those initiatives, I'm gonna suggest an additional meeting as we have limited time here today, but just hearing about those, if you're not already familiar with them, that might pique your interest. So make sure that you make a note of that. And then when we follow up and have a meeting with you, we certainly can go more in depth about those programs. When looking for individuals, these are the individual experiences that I mentioned, they can engage with employers in one of two ways. So through a request form, they can um, make selections that are unique to them or they can then register for those pre-scheduled events, both in-person and virtual. And when employers commit to a menu of activities, students and educators can then find you through the request process anytime they're looking for the experience. Um, usually that's going to be uh, in individuals, right? A student comes to the forum saying, I'm ready for a career experience. I know exactly what I want. Maybe they're part of a class and they're required to do some type of job shadow and we want them to utilize our system and see what options are available. They can actually search by career cluster. Um, and that really allows an employer by just having that menu of activities available, it allows you to accommodate a variety of requests from both educators and students. Career experiences on the other hand, are pre-planned events that can be scheduled and planned to take place on a specific date and time. We generally refer to those as like group job shadows because you can then accommodate more than one student at a time and you can determine how many students you're comfortable bringing in on any given date. And it allows you to then connect to a group instead of an individual. Oftentimes some of our larger companies are utilizing that structure because of they may be receiving more requests than a smaller company or, or someone that's maybe not as, um, their brand isn't as easily recognizable. But the thing to remember is that Inspire can help you plan any type of event or experience. So if you have an individual request for a job shadow, we have resources to help that career mentor structure what that activity is going to look like. Same thing if you'd like to plan, you know, a two or three hour activity where you're bringing in a group of students. We're here to support you in planning successful events. When looking for, um, and here you can see the activities that I was talking about, that menu of activities. So on the left, we have those um, activities for students and oftentimes the students are going to be requesting that job shadow. So again, that's probably an individual request that's going to be coming through. And um, on the right, you can see our teacher experiences. They may be requesting guest speakers that would then come into the classroom, um, company tours where they'd be bringing a group of students into your facility. And you can see some of the other options that we have here. I am happy to um, walk through the process of how our system works. Again, we can do that on a more individual basis if that's not something that you're super familiar with. But I want to point out here that the, the importance of the Inspire main contact. Many of you on this session today act as the point person for connecting your organization to students. You play an absolutely crucial role in helping students find a good fit 
based on their request. And really it's, it's those career mentors within your organization that are actually going to work directly with the students. So you can imagine that having a solid network of mentors is going to make that job easier. So we can talk through, you know, we're happy to um, support you in recruiting more mentors within your organization um, and helping you to discuss, in just a minute, we're gonna discuss what a great mentor looks like and who you might be targeting in your organization. All right, again, because we have limited time today, I just want to, oh no, I skipped ahead a little bit here. Um, in the event that you're planning a career experience, as you can see here, this is a little bit different because we're planning that event versus waiting for the students to find us through the form and make that request. Uh, you can see the type of information that if you would like to actually set a date for that career experience, this is the type of information we're going to need from you um, so that we can put that out on our calendar, out on our request form and allow students to register for that event. The Inspire team is, is able to help you target ideal timeframes to maximize student availability. So we're gonna kind of take a look at the school year calendar and we're going to you know, block off times where it probably isn't gonna be successful to have a career experience as an example. We wouldn't recommend scheduling a, a career experience you know, in the first couple of weeks of September. School Students are just getting back, educators are just getting back, getting to know their students and we don't have a lot of activity around career exploration right away at the beginning of the school year, but we do start to see that ramp up as you know the students get settled into their school routine and they dig a little bit deeper into their coursework. Um, so really October into November is when we see that, that career exploration start to ramp up and certainly through the winter. And then in the spring, we're hitting, running into different things like spring break or ACT testing. So we're always going to be taking a look at that school calendar and kind of blocking off areas where we think we're going to have a more successful turnout from students and educators and steer you away from any dates that might be conflicting and more difficult for students to commit to those experiences. So because we have limited time today, I just want to mention our youth co-op program. Um, it is a work experience program where students apply for short-term positions within a company and go through a nine-week training plan to experience roles within an industry. Students must be 16 years old or older and go through an interview before beginning a position. It is very, uh, very similar to the youth apprenticeship program, if you're familiar with that. Uh, we will actually be having a youth co-op roundtable on August 10th. So if that youth co-op is of interest to you, you can make a note that we're going to have information coming out for an in-person roundtable August 10th, 8 a.m. And the event is best attended by your leadership in operations, because what we want to do is we really want to dig into how this program is beneficial to your organization, but how to make it work for those supervisors and those mentors on the operations side that will be doing the day-to-day -day work with students. So if you're interested or you have been involved in the youth co-op program, that's going to be another great kind of deeper dive into the best practices and how to be successful in that youth co-op program. These are more immersive experiences. Obviously, you're working with individual students for an extended period of time. So it really is a great way for you to get to know that student and for the student to really get an understanding of what it is you do at your organization, what that company culture is like, and you know, then you're able to build that relationship and help the students see what their next steps would be in you know, staying with your company or trying other opportunities within your industry. Likewise, for our Workforce Pathway Initiative, I'm just gonna mention a few high points. This program was developed to target seniors who have either self-identified or been identified by their school counselors and educators that they will most likely enter the workforce after graduation. Similar to the college application process, we've implemented steps through the school year to provide resources, support, and opportunities for students, hoping to give them as much advantage as possible as they transition into their young adult life. The workforce orientation, so step one is really just getting those students interested and registered. Step two, the workforce orientation involves workshops and other events where employers and students can meet for 
informal career conversations. Last year, we actually hosted pizza parties at several of our schools um, to start that re relationship building process. Um, and in the spring is step three, we try to then encourage those students to register for those career experiences that we've worked on scheduling throughout the year, right? And that allows them to explore different companies of interest. And finally, the culminating events for seniors during this pathway is that our youth co-op positions during their fourth quarter of the school year and also hiring events, um, ideally resulting in those students getting full-time offers post-graduation. So we're trying to help them see what their options are and that going directly into the workforce is a great choice for them if they feel that's, that's the right next step for them after graduation. So now that you know how your company can connect with students, let's talk about who will be doing that work. We mentioned career mentors earlier, but let's really dig into what a career mentor is and who you might target within your company to be an inspired career mentor. They are the experts in the field. They are often the first and perhaps the only contact a student may have with your company. So with over 600 mentors in the Sheboygan area alone, it really is true that many hands make light work. It's through such a vast network that we're able to provide diverse experiences for students without overwhelming any one individual career mentor with requests. Um, a career mentor may participate in any of those activities we've talked about earlier. And it is the role of the Inspire Main Contact, again, that crucial role where that person is going to target the right individual within their company based on the request that you receive. So you're gonna get information from the student or from the educator on what it is they're looking for, whether it's a certain, a specific type of career, and you're gonna look through your, your um, mentor network within your organization and, and connect that student. So with that, the career mentor recruitment really is an important component in being successful in this work. And I'm sure you're thinking of individuals right now who would do a great job filling these roles. There's just a few of the characteristics of a, a great career mentor here. Are they knowledgeable in their role? Great career mentors demonstrate enthusiasm for their job and for working with students. And because we're working with students, do they have the patience and understanding to know that working with students can be challenging at times? It's very different than working with adults and working with your colleagues that you see day to day. Um, so think about who are those employees that you tap when someone needs to give a, a guided tour or facilitate a hands-on experience during a, a career experience? Would they make a great workplace mentor or be comfortable enough to act as a guest speaker? Those are the people that will make great career mentors. And really being a career mentor is not a huge time commitment. Um, all, all mentors should register and go through a background check. This is important because we are working with minors and we wanna make sure that both the career mentor and the student are safe. The more career mentors you have available within your company, the easier it will be to spread the activities out, out among many people. Um, we are happy to help recruit career mentors with your organization. And so I'd love, again, tell us in the chat. I'm sure you're thinking of the great career mentors that have already had phenomenal interactions with students. Do you have any of those success stories from career mentors in your organization? We know there's great stories. We always love to hear those. Um, and again, it can really get the ideas flowing when you're hearing how other companies might be using these positions within their company. All right, I'm just gonna wrap up. I've got a couple more things here. Um, if you're present at the annual meeting, perhaps there was a conversation at your table around more resources for employers. Well, this webinar is a first step in making sure our employers have what they need to be successful when connecting with students. So we also wanna provide resources that are more self-serve so that when you are having impromptu conversations with a potential career mentor or talking with a new leader, about the resource that is Inspire, you feel equipped with the, with the relevant information. As I mentioned several times, we have resources to help you plan any type of activity with students or educators. We also want to continue promoting your opportunities for both high school, uh, both high school students and those that are recent graduates. So we intend to keep our job board live 
and continue to utilize it as a main component for our workforce pathway. And finally, we are gonna be working on creating a resource library of really quick videos that help you as an employer stay up to date on all the resources that Inspire provides. So that is something that we will be implementing into our strategic plan this year and um, that will be available as the year goes along and we'll continue to keep you up to date. So please know again that email is our main mode of communication. So if you're wondering how you're going to learn about these opportunities, all of that is going to be coming through email, whether it's a request from students or just an opportunity from our organization where we might be helping recruit for those, those larger experiences. We are working on compiling a more comprehensive contact list in case there are people within your organization that would like to stay in the know besides the uh, main Inspire contact. So we would uh, continue to, to gather those contact people to make sure that they also receive the information and that it doesn't have to only come through you. And finally, one last piece we'd like you to understand about our organization is the addition of the Inspire Wisconsin Network. This is something that we developed with teams from other regions that were ready to begin doing this work in their own communities. In fact, we have some of our INSPIRE coordinators from the North Central Wisconsin region who are tuning in today. So welcome, thanks for joining us. And really the benefit of this collaboration is an expanded network of students with whom you can now connect um, and is especially useful for companies who have locations in other areas. The Inspire Sheboygan County team will continue to be your main contact for all things career exploration, but we now have the means to connect you to more students. So if you have facilities outside of the Sheboygan County area or are interested in connecting with students in other regions, we can now help you do that. So we have definitely covered a lot of information today, but hopefully you've got some ideas on how you'll connect with students this school year I'd like to open the floor for questions, so please feel free to unmute or you can add those in the chat and we'd be happy to use the last two minutes to chat a little bit with you about any questions you might have after our session today. Hey Candace, I just want to share um, some success stories that we have so exciting. Robin from um, Wojenik said they hired two students through their co-op program. The co op program. Yeah. And then Kayla Stocker said um, one of our high school co ops won our NEMAC Achievers Scholarship and is working here during the summer as an intern. That's phenomenal. That is so, so wonderful. Cool. Thank you so much for sharing those. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's so great. And that's, we just love hearing it. That's what we're here. That's what mm -hmm. we're here to do. We're here to connect you with those students. And I hope that those. As an organization, you can then use those stories, right? And they can help bring the next generation of students in. It's so impactful. Yep. And um, we have Kim from uh, Milk Specialties, and I totally agree with this. Um, their mock interviews have gotten with their students um, comfortable with interviewing, and we're able to explain to the students that every every interviewed uh, situation is different. And yeah, she just said they they had a really great time discuss the interview processes so oh that's awesome yes and i think all educators would echo this mm -hmm. you often coming in and having those experiences with students can be so impactful because being a teacher is kind of like being a parent where you're like i have told them these things but you know they don't necessarily listen to me they want to hear it from you and then they understand okay this is what it's like in the professional world and they really internalize those things so you're um, service to students, you're volunteering your time and helping students prepare themselves for the workforce is just so essential. So again, we thank you. Well, we are right at that time limit today. I told you I'd get you out of here in 30 minutes. We are so thankful that you joined us today. We look forward to having you join us for more useful sessions throughout the year. So if there's anything that you'd like to know more about mm -hmm. going into the school year, please let us know. And we're always going to be looking for topics um, for more of these uh, Inspire 101 sessions for our employers. Thank you so much, everybody, and have an awesome day. Bye, everyone.